Pheasant Fest is returning to South Dakota next year. It's the second time Sioux Falls will host the three-day event. The last time was back in 2018. And as Kelloland's Don Jorgensen reports, organizers kicked off the event today with a bang. Oh. Dozens of hunters took aim at shooting clay pigeons this morning at Hunter's Point near Humboldt. It's to help promote Pheasants Forever's big three-day event next year. We're absolutely ecstatic to have National Pheasant Fest and Quail Classic coming back to South Dakota. But today, it's about having fun. Uh, it's just a way to bring out uh, all of our sponsors and donors and members and chapters. One of those partners is Sound Gear out of Minnesota that sells electronic hearing protection to hunters. With our electronic products, the nice thing is that you don't have to sacrifice your ability to hear, your ability to have situational awareness, to be able to um, get the directionality of where sound is coming from uh, while you're still simultaneously protecting your ears. Baker Audiology and Hearing Aids is also here to promote what they do to help hunters. A lot of gun shooters will get tinnitus as well, so then they get the ringing in the ears. So nobody really wants to have to wear hearing aids, but also um, hearing aids do help with tinnitus. So if you do have that ringing, there's that programming in there that you can put that in. If you're a pheasant hunter, listen to this. People are seeing a lot of pheasants on the landscape despite the horrible winter weather that we just had. So I think there's a lot of reason for optimism. And that optimism will help get hunters fired up for Pheasant Fest. I think Pheasant, pheasant Fest is gonna rule the roost in Sioux Falls uh, when, when we're back here. And uh, there's gonna be a lot of banquets in between now and then leading up to uh, our, our big event. Ian Humboldt, Don Jorgensen, Kettle Land News. Pheasants Forever has numerous chapters across the country, including South Dakota. The organization has about 150,000 members.